Live is getting a rare look at how police dogs are trained after a canine was killed in action last week. Our Elizabeth Alvarez has more from the SDPD canine facility in Webster. We put them through a 16 week academy and teach them their job. Every San Diego police canine trains at least 20 hours a month at a facility near Webster. There are currently 33 dogs actively serving with SDPD. This is Carson. Uh, he is a seven year old German Shepherd from Slovakia. Carson's been serving for five years and has been involved in some pretty high profile cases and has even survived some potentially lethal wounds. We were searching for a suspect down the San Diego Riverbed and that suspect did stab Carson in the head. Uh, four times with a screwdriver and once in the mouth. Uh, Carson was able to recover and then we were able to apprehend him just a short time later. It was just last week that the second San Diego police canine ever was killed in the line of duty. Canine Sir was a four year old Belgian Melanois. He was shot and killed by a violent suspect. Here at the training facility, there's a special area, a memorial that's been set up to honor the canines who have served within the department. This statute here is of Bando in memory of the very first canine who was killed in the line of duty back in 1994. Every police canine is seen as a hero within the department, working together with their partners. Carson's partner, Officer Jonathan Weiss, is a hero himself as well. Remember the car with the two little girls that drove off of Sunset Cliffs a few years back? Officer Weiss was able to rescue them, due in part to his canine equipment. We were uh, equipped with a 100-foot dog leash, and so that day when the car was driven off the Sunset Cliffs, uh, I was either smart enough or crazy enough to use a dog leash to rappel down the cliff. We were able to rescue the two girls and the father that day. The San Diego Police Foundation helps to fund the canine program, helping to equip every unit to continue to protect and serve the community safely. In Webster, I'm Elizabeth Alvarez for Fox 5 News. Elizabeth, thanks for that uh, inside look. Speaking of